Hey guys, welcome back to the Fruget Seafood Test Kitchen today. Uh, today we've got one of our favorite golf species, a uh, little local golf amberjack. Uh, beautiful, large flake, white, dense meat. Um, amberjack, this is coming to us out of Houma, Louisiana. Uh, this is a predatory fish, so eating other, other fish, it's gonna be a nice oily, uh, high, high fat content. Um, but it really kind of cooks up, nice and clean, large flake. Um, really tastes like whatever you want to taste like. Great fish for the grill, because it's so dense. Uh, broiling. Today I'm just going to pan sear it, throw it in the oven, and I'm going to throw together a, a nice little uh, crab and artichoke cream sauce. And uh, we're just going to get all this working for you and, and cook some lunch. All right, now we've got our pan preheated here. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. I'm just going to season the fish lightly with a little salt and pepper. Uh, nice thick piece of fish, so we want to season both sides. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of oil on the pan. And I like to put a little bit of butter too. Helps to kind of create that nice, nice crust on the fish, uh, and prevents any any burning or, or kind of charring of the of the fish. It to be golden brown, but but not overly uh, overly dark. Pan's nice and hot. Always want to start with your presentation side first. We'll get that in the pan. I'll let this go for about two minutes or so. Really get that nice golden brown brown crust. I'm going to flip it in the pan, get it in the oven, probably about 10 minutes at about 350, 400 degrees. Uh, and while that's finishing up in the oven, we're going to go ahead and work on our cream sauce. All right, now we've had this fish on the, on the top side about two, two and a half minutes. Just going to give it a flip. Nice little, nice little crust on there. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the oven, 400 degrees, for about eight to 10 minutes. While that's working, we'll go ahead and get our uh, sauce going. I'm going to let this pan preheat and we'll go from there. All right, our pan is preheated. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of oil and butter in there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of shallots. Really, all I'm looking to do on the shallots is is start to get them cooked. We don't want to we don't want to brown them or, or add a, a whole whole lot of flavor at this point. Just gonna get them sautéed. A little butter, a little oil, a little salt, a pinch of black pepper. Turn my heat down a little bit. We'll add our garlic. Same thing here. We just want the garlic to, to cook the rawness out. Don't want to brown it, don't want to burn it for sure. Burned garlic would definitely ruin your sauce. About a minute or two, just give it a nice quick little saute. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our artichokes. I've just got a, a small jar of uh, marinated artichokes here. Got a little bit of the oil left in there. Didn't chop them up or anything. Uh, kind of going for a bit of a, uh, kind of a Tuscan flavor profile here with the artichokes and some lemon juice, a little fresh parsley and chives, some fresh herbs. Now we're just going to cook our artichokes probably two or three minutes. I'm going to turn the heat down again. Uh, just want to heat these throughout, get them, get them ready to go. Then we'll come back. I'll get our crab in, get our lemon juice going, a little white wine, a little cream. A great, great sauce as a base for our, our fish. All right, now our artichokes are kind of warm through. Uh, I got some nice, pretty Louisiana jumbo lump crab meat here. Uh, just going to go ahead and add this to the pan. Want to get some of that liquid in there too. Got my heat on low, and at this point I don't want to toss this around too much. I want these nice big lump, lump, jumbo lump uh, pieces to stay intact. We're going to turn our heat up just a bit and hit this with just a little bit of lemon juice. A little fresh parsley. A little bit of white wine. And we'll let this go for two or three minutes, let that wine reduce down a little bit. We'll get our cream added in and our sauce will be complete. All right, now our wine's reduced, lemon juice is reduced, and they go ahead and add nice, nice big helping of heavy cream. I just want to give this a nice little, little stir in the pan just to get it all incorporated. I'm going to let this simmer for about two or three minutes just for the flavors to kind of meld and the cream to thicken the sauce up a little bit. And then that'll be the base for our, uh, our fish. All right, now our, as you can see, our cream is nice and thick. Um, everything's ready to rock. Our, our crab should be heated through. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the heat on this. Our fish ought to be ready about the same time. We've been in here about 10 minutes. It feels like we're done all the way through. So I'm just gonna set this here for now. We're gonna put our sauce in the base of our bowl here. And I wanna be real careful, real gentle. I don't wanna break the crab up. Just gonna put a, a scoop or two right in here. We want a lot of this cream right in the bottom. And we're gonna take our fish, place our fish right over the top. I just wanna kinda of drain our fish a little bit before we do anything with it. 
nice big chunk of amberjack here. I've got a couple of crispy shallots that I'm just going to put around the edge just to give it a little, little crunch. Nice little fried lemon and then a bunch of fresh chives right over the top. And there you go, nice hearty, it's a cold, cold winter day here in Louisiana, nice hearty dish. Um, our golf amberjack seared with a crab and artichoke cream sauce. Good to go.